Thumbelina. Once in a distant forest, a baby girl was born within a delicate flower. Her body was no larger than a thumb, leading everyone to call her Thumbelina. Thumbelina lacked parents, but was well cared for by the flower spirit, growing into a charming little girl. She adored playing with butterflies, bees, dragonflies, and ladybugs, never feeling lonely thanks to her many friends in the meadow. One day, Mother Toad noticed Thumbelina and was captivated by her sparkling skin and beautiful hair. She'll be the perfect bride for my two sons, thought Mother Toad, deciding to take Thumbelina while she slept peacefully. Deeply asleep, Thumbelina was unaware as Mother Toad gently placed her on her back and carried her away. When she woke, Thumbelina found herself in an unfamiliar place. Where am I? she whispered, feeling frightened. Don't be afraid, reassured Mother Toad. You're safe with us. Mother Toad and her two sons appeared with a wedding dress. Tomorrow you'll be our bride, the Toads declared. No, please let me go, pleaded Thumbelina. I don't want to marry a Toad. The Toads, offended by Thumbelina's words, ordered her to bed, insisting she'd marry them regardless. Sulking, Thumbelina went to bed. In the dead of night, a gentle voice roused her. Thumbelina, I'm here to rescue you, whispered the field mouse. Come with me. Thumbelina followed, escaping the toad's underground house. All night they ran until they reached a river. Thank you, little mouse, said Thumbelina. You're welcome, Thumbelina. Now the fish will take you back to the meadow. Riding on the fish's back, Thumbelina felt the cool water wash over her. Hold tight, advised the fish. I'm a bit slippery. They arrived at the other side, and the fish bid farewell. That's all I can do for now, Thumbelina. Now the blue tit will take you home, said the fish. Thank you, little fish, said Thumbelina. A blue tit descended from a tree branch, allowing Thumbelina to hop onto its back. They flew across the forest and finally returned to the meadow. Thank you, little bird, said Thumbelina. You're safe now, Thumbelina, replied the blue tit before bidding her goodbye. After a long day, Thumbelina reached her flower home, lying down on her favorite flower bed, drifting off into a peaceful sleep. <laughs>